First I'm going to break out my four piece fly rod, five weight, which is good for fish in the rainbow in the Columbia. The uh, fish right now are on the surface. Today we're going to use dry line. Fly fishing lingo. Woohoo! Fish on! One good hit. Skunked. Haven't had any bites. I really don't feel like I have a lot of music in me. I'm not a naturally gifted person in terms of music. I would probably make a much better hockey player because I started doing that when I was two years old. This is my fly box. I flies for different parts of the season. And the one I want to use, giving away a big secret here, is this one I've tied up. The caddis fly. It's very prolific. In Columbia. Fish love to eat it. I make it out of some feathers, some dubbing fur, and you use thread to hold it all together. And you always use barbless hooks. I like to call it the Clinton Columbia Special. Let's get it going. Oh. I've been yelled at on stage by other musicians. I've been told to stop playing because I was doing things so wrong. Point blank. Stop playing. Just, it's not working. Stop. I used to practice a lot, uh, 10 to 12 hours a day. And sometimes I'd actually start falling asleep while I was practicing. So that was usually a good sign that that was the end of my practice session, that I was actually sleeping while I was playing. So here we are on the Kootenai River. That's the brilliant bridge up there. Right over here, where it's lots of big open water there, that's where the Kootenai meets the Columbia River. So that's the confluence. Ah, and we're off. When I'm in my float tube, I can just drift around, and I'll be drifting with the food, and the fish also follow that pattern too. I started playing the saxophone when my brother started taking high school band class and he brought home a tenor saxophone and I started playing it. I was around 11 years old when that happened and uh, I've just been playing it ever since. One of my true loves of my life is to be on the river fly fishing. I grew up with it. My dad was a commercial fisherman on the coast before we moved to the Kootenays. We grew up on the Slocan River. My earliest memories are being on the river and fly fishing. Fly fishing helps me with my music by getting me in a completely different environment. Sometimes when you're on the water, you got quite a bit of time to think, like right now when nothing's biting yet. It's such a different environment that it really helps my mind wander. If I start thinking about music and I can think about problems with compositions or new compositions or band concepts. And sometimes it's very problematic because I can be out on the water and I can get a new idea and I need a way to store that because I don't have a recording device with me so I have to sing it over and over and over in my head and then as soon as I'm done fishing, I have to rush up to the car and somehow write it down. Saxophone lingo. Read liquor. This is how you liquor read. Both ends is good. Mm -hmm. Try to get the reed all flat, and that's why we're called reed liquors. That was bad, meaning it's really good. This has been a hard thing for my kids to figure out. But lots of people want to get in the zone. I'm in the zone when I'm fishing, but they're very similar. Both of them have a real strong lesson for me, and that is to be patient. I wanted to be successful at music when I was 17 years old, and that didn't work out. So I needed to be patient and do a lot of hard work. Fishing is a bit like that too. You have to spend a lot of time behind the scenes working on it. 
be nice to hook onto one out there. Nothing. It's called fishing, not catching. Got one, Nancy. Oh, ah, have one. Ah. <laughs> But when it does work out, it can happen very quickly and the action can be very fast. All the variables come together and come together and all of a sudden you're there and you're peeking out and it's a very high experience. There you go! Taking some line. Oh, there we go. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's starting to tire out a bit. Yeah, that's a nice fish. You found her. That is a rainbow trout. Caught on the Kinky River. And that's what being a musician in the Kinky is all about.